Saturday talk out in the field. We started the Naval Academy Ice Experiment, and it's going to be a joint effort. From the group that came here last year, they said it was sunny and beautiful all the time. Effort with the U.S. Naval Academy. Blowing pretty hard out here, about 30 miles an hour. Wind chills down about negative 30 or so. The University of Delaware. Is down about negative 30 or so. And the University of Washington. It's a nice joint collaboration with the three different schools. It's really cold. Okay, good afternoon. My name is Nakan Bahakar and this is a Bass Saturday talk out in the field. Today I'm out with Lieutenant Commander John Wood from the U.S. Naval Academy. They're up here in Barrow, Alaska doing some sea ice experiments and he's going to talk to us a little bit about what he's doing here. Good afternoon. You have to forgive me if I put my muff up. It's blowing pretty hard out here, about 30 miles an hour. Wind chills down about negative 30 or so. But yeah, we're up here in Barrow for our second year in a row now. This year we're doing this as part of the Naval Academy ice experiment and it's going to be a joint effort with the U.S. Naval Academy, the University of Delaware, who's out here now doing their, some of their sea ice survey work, and the University of Washington, who is actually going to have a field site at the, uh, the Department of Energy Arm Station, with some buoys out over there. So it's a nice joint collaboration with the three different schools. We've got students, undergraduate students from the Naval Academy, graduate students from the University of Delaware out here participating, and they're actually giving up some of their spring break time to be up here on the ice in beautiful Barrow, Alaska. So we're really excited. We're actually going to be deploying a couple instruments to help monitor the sea ice. We're going to have some webcams on those instruments, some temperature sensors, trying to document how the ice has been changing over the, over the past uh, couple of years. So we're really excited to be up here. We'll be up here for about a week and a half and try to get as much time out on the ice as we can. Hoping that the weather dies down a little bit. It's blowing a little bit harder right now than we'd like it to be. But uh, we're looking forward to a couple good days out on the ice. Uh, I would like to maybe bring one of my students over and, uh, and then maybe bring Kathy over as well. She's from Delaware. Oh, I can knock up my ass, you like, you know, what you're doing. Or, you know, pretty great Hello, my stuff. name is Dagmara Broniatowska. I'm from Poland. I'm a senior at the Naval Academy and I'll be graduating in May and going back to Poland to join the Polish Navy. Well, so that's my first time on the Arctic Ocean. It's really cold and windy for now. We're just doing some testings today and hopefully we'll be prepared to go over when the rest of the group gets here and we'll be more efficient than that right now. It's really cold. Pretty much everything that doesn't include electronics is working. So the whole, whole old method of wood and sticks works. Electronics are not really cooperating in that environment, but hopefully we'll figure something out. From the group that came here last year, they said it was sunny and beautiful all the time. So I did not expect this to be that windy and that cold, but I mean, it works. I like it. I think I get much more out of it than having a perfect weather. Thank you. My name is Kathy Geiger. I'm a research professor at the University of Delaware. And I'm studying the effects of how the sea ice is being changed by the increasing temperatures on the planet. It's very important because as things change here, they change here first. And as you can see, while it feels very cold and windy right now, if you look out just off the coast here, less than three kilometers away, there's a wide gap of open water that's stretching from about Prudhoe Bay down to near the uh, entrance of the Bering Sea, several hundred miles. So even though it's minus five degrees Fahrenheit here, and we have a wind chill with 30 mile an hour winds, and it's a wind chill effect feeling like minus 40 right now, there's open water only three kilometers away 
because the wind is opening up the water and moving the ice offshore. And in addition, there's very warm water coming up from the Bering Strait and coming around to keep heating it from underneath. So we can be in sub-zero temperatures and yet there are cloud banks rising all the way along the horizon here with steam. It looks like it's boiling because at minus five degrees or 40 below wind chill, that water at close to freezing point is rising and it looks it looks like a huge thing of boiling water and it's rising up as this lower level cloud but it, it's quite an amazing thing to stand here sub-zero temperatures and yet there's open water it's a it's an amazing thing people people have never experienced this before this is the this isn't even the middle of this isn't even the solstice yet we're not even at the 21st of March and yet we have open water in sub-zero. Something has to be causing it. One of the causes is as the temperatures rise in the planet, the ocean heat rises. And the ocean heat is gonna come up and bring hot water and just start melting the ice from below. So it's a pretty exciting time to be here and to be studying the ice. But we're very happy. Our project is called Merlin. It means multi-scale education and research through active learning using an ice physics node. And in honor of Merlin the magician, we've been learning how to think backwards to uh, figure out the steps for the best step forward. So we're practicing here for what we thought were ideal conditions to learn. And otherwise, we're having a good day. Our project is called Merlin, learning how to think backwards. This is part of the Naval Academy ice experiment, and it's going to be a joint effort with... Our project is called Merlin, steps for the best step forward. With the U.S. Naval Academy. Steps for the best step forward. The University of Delaware. Steps for the best step forward. And the University of Washington. Steps for the best step forward. It's a nice joint collaboration with the three different schools. Okay, hold on. for the best step forward. Okay, hold on.